Hi, it's Kylie of Kylie M Interiors, online paint color consultant. Today we're talking about Sherwin-Williams Colonnade Grey. Now you'll notice I have two paint colors up here. There's Colonnade Grey here and Gossamer Veil here. We'll get to this one after, so for right now we're going to focus on Colonnade Grey. Colonnade Grey is a warm grey paint color. It's trying to be a greyish, but it's not quite getting there. Now any color with grey in it, whether it's a cold grey, warm grey, greyish, can pick up any of the cool undertones. Well, it can and it will. So you need to take your pick, blue, purple, or green. Now Colonnade Grey just slightly favors a green undertone. Super passive, I'm being anal, it's not a big deal, but if you don't like green, yeah, you probably won't like it. Now that's not to say it won't grab blue or purple, because in the right circumstances, it will. I've seen it look slightly blue-gray in north-facing rooms, east-facing rooms, and I've even seen it look a little bit taupey, so more like a, a grayish with just a drop of purple in it. So like any gray, it does have that flexibility, so you have to be aware of that, so there's no surprises. But generally speaking, it's going to favor a very mild green. Now this has an LRV of 53, and that's where this color comes into play. These colors are similar idea. They're warm grays, trying to be grayish, but not getting there, that slightly favor green. Now this has an LRV of 62. So LRV is light reflectance value. It basically tells you how light or dark a paint color will look once it's up on the wall. So at 62, that's what I consider to be a really good average color for the average room. At 53, we've got a little bit more depth going on. So if you have a darker room, you might find it a little bit heavy. But if you have a super bright room, you might find that this color holds up well and doesn't wash out as much as a lighter LRV color would. Now to see the contrast, let's look at white trim. This is just plain white, nothing exciting. So there you have it. So there's an LRV of 53. So you can see the depth of colonnade gray. And then you can see it there with 62. That just shows you the difference between two somewhat similar colors. Now another great way to pick a pink color is through comparison. So I want to compare it to a couple popular warm grays and grayish pink colors. First up, agreeable gray. So when you look at agreeable gray, you can see it's a bit lighter and it actually showcases a bit of that green undertone that comes up in colonnade gray. And by the way, I have colonnade gray painted over almost all of my house. So I am super intimate with this color. I've got a great feel for it. And I do have a few blog posts on it if you want to check out my blog. Anyways, now if you're a Revere Pewter fan, Benjamin Moore, you'll see that these two are super similar. So if you're looking to do a Sherwin-Williams color that's like Revere Pewter, Colonnade Grey is your guy. Now let's look at Grey Owl. So Grey Owl is a soft gray with blue-green undertones. It really showcases that warmth and it really pops up the green and colonnade gray, as you can see there. What else do I have for you? Worldly gray. So worldly gray is a light grayish that picks up a faint green. Now you can see it's LRV sit somewhere in between these two, but they're all doing the same thing. They're warm grays, trying to be grayish, just picking up a wink of green. Again, that doesn't mean they won't flash a little bit blue or a little bit purple taupe, but they do favor green just slightly. Now, is that it? Repose Gray. I love Repose Gray. It's a super popular one, and I do have videos on a lot of these if you want to check them out. So, Repose Gray is a warm gray, so it really shows you how warm colonnade is, and the subtle purple you see there really showcases how the green can come up in colonnade. Again, on a large scale, you're not going to have green walls. It is just a warm, soft gray, but green is its favored undertone. Now, if you have a north-facing room, you might find at times of the day it does flash that little bit more cool-toned. Um, the nice thing about colonnade gray is it really adjusts itself based on your furnishings as well. So you might find that if you have a lot of gray and cool furnishings, this sways itself that little bit more gray, especially in a north-facing room. Whereas if you have tans, beiges, grayges, this one can nod toward that too, making a really versatile color. So that is Sherwin-Williams colonnade gray. If you want to check out more, visit me on my blog, www.kyliaminteriors.ca. Thank you.